G'day guys, Andy from Highway Caravan Centre here. We're doing another Crusader video today. This is the Chameleon Hybrid Camper and it is an Action SV model. Um, On-road suspension, but we've got good clearance here with a six inch uh, A-frame, four inch chassis. Um, we've got um, 15 inch wheels. So um, gives you that bit of clearance to get over a few little creeks here or there. But if you're looking for something small, lightweight to tow, uh, let's have a look at this and see if this one works for you. So a uh, bit of a difference with Crusader, 450 MPA steel. They make their own chassis uh, from a stronger, uh, purer steel. Great benefit there of having a solid build beneath you. Uh, we've got the connections are built underneath the recessed hitch which come out there they're not tangled in the way here in any way so it's a seven pin flat gray anderson to charge your battery while you're driving so that's your connections we've got this bracket here with the jockey wheel on which is bolted on so if you, if you ever want to move that or change that simply undo the bolts and away you go we've got little hooks built onto it as well for our chains which is really handy just to drop them on so they're not dragging on the floor our spare is just located to the side here on this extended A-frame, as you can see, it's quite long uh, to get this stuff in there. We've got our nine kilo gas bottle, and of course our toolbox with jerry can holders on either side. Now, Crusader build their bands from uh, insulated materials so we've got a one-piece roof one-piece floor and in this van smaller van we've got a one-piece insulated uh, alu comp wall which is rain and hail resistant uh, we've got a 2.6 meter dometic box awning coming around to the rear we've got a pull out step we've got a large tunnel boot which we'll just show you before we go inside Anna We've got storage underneath here as well, which goes in through the um, underneath the kitchen. And then we've also got this awesome Swift barbecue and kitchen. So you can see we've got a little sink here, fully plumbed in. We've got our taps located there, just connected to the taps. We've got our gas bayonet for our barbecue, which sits on the end there. Our cooker our gas burners and away we go so we've got a full kitchen there and as you can see there's still a heap of space at the back and at the side of the tunnel boot there which is 900 mil wide so that's our swift kitchen you can see we've got external lights over the kitchen as well which is really handy one outside as well external speakers 12 volt point We've got our security screen door, rear LED light, and then moving inside, we've got our sink in the corner, we've got our dual gas burner here, so there's another cooking option inside, so if the weather's no good, you can come inside and do that. Now, just inside here, we've got our combo toilet and shower, so we'll open the door here, let you have a look at that. That's nicely tucked away in there. We've got LED lights around the hatch. We've got a nice drop down curtain to separate the shower from the curtain. So um, if you don't want to get the water splashed on the toilet, no worries, just drop the curtain down there and away you go. Now we've got our stereo, lots of cupboard space above. We've got our compressor fridge with a little bit of a freezer compartment at the top. And that's a decent size. Heap of space here underneath the bench with quite a long bench there's quite a bit of workspace and you can have the option to shorten that bench and get us a, uh, a single cafe seat there in lieu of uh, the end of the bench concealed cupboards above my head you've got the reverse cycle air conditioning we've got led lights through we've got a scup event uh, to prevent the dust coming through and then we've got the layout here which we've got it set up um, as it was built in the single bed option but you can also drag this table this bit this slide out table here and then you could turn the two mattresses around east west if you like push them together um, to make a double bed uh, and then you could you know get your own mattress further down the line if you wanted to to have that as a permanent setup and have that seating arrangement here with the shorter bench so there's some variations that you can make to this action sv model so we'll slide that back there uh, we've got two sirocco fans one in each corner keep you nice and cool when it's a bit warm smoke alarm uh, we've got the fiberglass roof obviously that we spoke about before which is fully insulated uh, to keep you you know cooler and warmer depending on what the temperature is and then on the wall here we've got our battery management system from projector we've got our gas and electric hot water switches and our light switches there too so we've got a dometic block out blinds 
and flight screens which are magnetic and as I said we've, you may have seen in another video we can actually remove these uh, windows here to bring that blind out so you can clean out the dust from the blind which is a really good feature uh, of these Dometic blinds. So that's the Chameleon uh, from Crusader. It's the Action SV model. There is uh, um, other options to go to a full off-road suspension in one in the same layout and also family layouts as well with a couple of modifications you can make uh, as we talked about before. Come and have a look at this one. Nice and small, really lightweight to tow. Uh, maybe this is your next little camper to get you away.